So, um, I kind of, this video will, I don't know when this video is going to be released. It'll probably be released before the next episode comes out. But honestly, I saw how well this video did. And so I definitely just got to talk about this, this, this webtoon uh, going forward. So as in addition with my Tower of God and in addition with my uh, Unordinary Reviews, you can expect reviews of this series. So, um, hello everyone, The 23 Genius is back with another Webtoon review. Um, again, I just want to say thank you for the support that you gave for one of my videos. I'll leave the link down in the description below if you do not know what video that is. But today, we are going to review uh, the current chapter of Season 2 of I'm the Grim Reaper, which I talked a lot about, about how it's such an underrated webtoon series, and I'm very glad that many people are starting to take knowledge of it because it's actually a really good, gruesome series, but again, with a lot of underlying themes that I used to say from my old times of making videos. So with that being said, let's get into it, but if you like these videos and what I do, don't be shy, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe, but also more importantly, make sure you like to subscribe to your favorite content creators because it helps them out a lot. I also have a Discord. If you want to help like get it started, please, it will be very much appreciated. Uh, just, uh, I leave links in the description below about the, uh, about the web, about the Discord. So yeah, just any support you make, I'm not even really asking for money, just support with likes and subscribes and to the Webtoon creators, that's all we got. So, uh, let's talk about I Am The Grim Reaper, shall we? So, I'm going to talk about a lot of things, okay? I'm going to talk about what it's about, just in case someone who's watching this may not know. Uh, I'm going to talk about two episodes. I'm going to talk about the questions and answers and the prologue. And, the, I mean, the new episode, which I'm pretty sure is, it's season, uh, episode one of season two. So, uh, what is I'm The Grim Reaper about? So, it is a very dark uh, webtoon about a character by the name of Scarlet who becomes a Grim Reaper because her sins were so atrocious that Satan herself gave her the highest level of punishment, which was Oblivion. So, she could either take Oblivion or just become a Grim Reaper. Being at Oblivion seems horrible. She decides to take the job as a Grim Reaper so she can keep her sanity. But, all with that being said, there's another character by the name of Chase who wants to find out the mystery of, of, of X, of, um, of Case X, which is about a girl who was so horrible that even the evil organizations of the series, which I won't give away for spoiling it, for spoiling it, um, uh, would, um, like, they even were disgusted at her, or she was very special among them, which turns out Scarlet is that person. So what really happened, we'll find out. So I want to talk about the question and answer, because I think this was very cool for one reason, uh, really mainly because the author, which I believe their name is Grave Weaver, uh, really, really explained why writing the webtoon is so hard. Like, I, I'm starting to really like how webtoon creators are coming out of this closet, if you will, and really explain that it's you like the content, but there is so much work to do the content, and it just doesn't magically come out, out off of a hat. And I really feel like that's really the most important message uh, of the question and answer. It wasn't really about all the questions, but really that main point about it's not so easy, and doing any content work for a viewer is not easy. For example, my videos are horrible. I I, I don't like my videos. Uh, I feel like I could do a way better job. But to but behind the scenes, these videos take hours. Like to edit, to do sound, to do video, it, it takes hours and hours just to do videos like this. So imagine what it's like for an actual, like uh, a person who does a different style of videos. Imagine how long it takes them. So any media or any creation just takes a long time. And I really liked how we really got in depth to how uh, hard it is for a content creator. You know, she has to go through her, or he has to go through her editor. Um, you know, there's a color involved. You have to really rehash your skin. Skin. You have to make sure it conveys correctly to the audience. It's more than just really just popping the webtoon out in thin air. It's really truly about making sure the content really is received properly, and that takes a long time. It takes a whole week, probably even more. A great news is probably being very nice. It probably takes more than a week, which is why certain chapters are so short because. It's just very, 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 very hard to do. That's why there are Patreons. That's why like people do it for full time because it is a full time occupation, you know? And so again, just shout outs to really uh, one of the what to creators to put um, Outlook on that. But also I really love their second answer. 
and this really goes to show you just this is true in anything and their second answer was why did I create I'm a good reader and they said um, well I wanted to make a webtoon series that I would enjoy you know I tried making stuff what people enjoyed but I wanted to make something that I enjoyed and even if you're let's say you make a webtoon and even if your webtoon series uh, doesn't uh, get successful you, I believe you're doing yourself a justice by writing something that you would enjoy if you enjoy seeing your own content then that's really all that matters at the end of the day yes it would be good to be glamorous to be shown online webtoons whatever media that you may use but really this message is very true like this isn't the realest message that I've seen you know which also couples why uh, I'm the Grim Reaper is such an amazing webtoon series as a whole because it's not because the webtoon is only as good as its writer and if the writer has a good mindset the webtoon only benefits from the mindset of the webtoon content creator so really bringing this point about how this person did it for themselves really everyone should really just listen to that and really just strive to do things for themselves don't copy somebody else do something that you really want to enjoy Enjoy or you really like and so it obviously worked out for Grey Weaver as their webtoon is actually very up and coming but even if your webtoon or whatever you make is not up and coming you owe yourself that justice by doing it for yourself so very good episode I thoroughly enjoyed reading the questions I enjoyed the comedy I enjoyed I love the satire that uh, the, that the character just um, uh, I say portrays so again very good material um, in this series so awesome now let's get into the actual episode so episode one so what we leave off is um basically scarlet fakes that she was dead and chase basically gets upset and he kills somebody that's his, <laughs> that's what happens <laughs> like in that way which really shows a side of chase that we really like don't didn't really see but we knew chase was very dark you know uh, on the uh, mirage of this really innocent cop we knew that there was something dark as he's a sinner or he lost his job you know for some reason it's the stuff that he did so we knew he was dark but man when he did that i'm like man you are just super dark i kind and also but this is really good i also kind of love the dark romance that is happening because it really only couples and it, it really only couples with the sinful uh environment that I'm the Grim Reaper is. Like, love would be really out of place in I'm the Grim Reaper because love is a very innocent and very not sinful thing. It can be. But I love how there's a little dark spin on it. It's very, this is one of the things that makes it unique because it's this dark spin on things. And it's definitely a dark spin on this romance because obviously we can tell that these two have some sort of connection for one another. But because they're both sinners and they're both murderers at, at that, um, it is like very, very just interesting to see how such a dark love comedy can play out. Like dark comedy can be really good and very interesting if it's played out correctly. Like you cannot be comedic with a dark comedy. It must be as dark as the environment of the webtoon, I feel. And that's definitely the case in, I'm the, in this uh, episode and in this scene. So obviously they have a thing and it's really good that they um it's really good that there's just this dark elements that are involved so one last thing did happen um in this webtoon series and that was simply that scarlet realized that she cannot hide the fact that she's a grim reaper so she just reveals um you know that she just basically has to uh kill this dude basically to be alive so that was a huge shocker nevertheless now i feel like she didn't have to do that um she could have lied about it but i feel like this was specifically just to make the plot go forward because I truly feel from the bottom of my heart that she could have just played it off. Because many people can't survive bullets. But maybe the severity of the bullet, the shot, the fact that it went to her head, etc. It's really hard to just play, uh, you know, that off. So, again, I really feel it was good plot development. But it's good because he needed to know. The series is already halfway, half a year in. And it's just certain things just need to be revealed at this point. But the one thing that I want to see, I want to see... Uh, who is X and I want to see the sins that she did and honestly when the sins come out I'm definitely going to do a video about it and about how I feel it may be too gruesome for YouTube themselves but we'll see um, yeah and that is my review of I am the Grim Reaper I think it's a fantastic series and expect uh, ep expect episodes of this as much as uh, Tower of God and unordinary so I have a lot on my plate so I'm a very little busy bee so but I'll definitely try my best to get the content as act as quick and as quality as I can out for you.
So again, uh, the community base that I do have, again, I thank you again. Again, like, again, there's nothing more to say. Like, thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. It, it just all means a lot to me. So I want to always try to strive for better. So thank you so much. With that being said, uh, I thank you for watching this video. I hope it's what you want. I'll see you next time.